Hey Taurus, I'm back y'all with another video. So yes, I've been MIA for for a minute, for about three or four weeks. But I just moved, relocated, and moved in. I'm getting settled in. So now I'm back, guys. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. All right, so let's talk. Let's see what we got coming in for the month of August for the Taurus. Okay, what messages are there for Taurus? Oh, we got three jumped out immediately. All right, we got codependency and give your relationship a chance at the bottom here. So somebody could be codependent, okay? You could be dealing with someone who is codependent, okay? Someone here wants to give this relationship a chance. Someone here wants to heal a union. Could even be a marriage, okay? Um, we got healing family issues, all right? So somebody here could definitely want to give a relationship a chance or you want to give a relationship a chance, okay? But the thing of it is, is that somebody could be extremely codependent, okay? Now we got chemistry, release your ex and let your friends help you. So this person that you are dealing with could be, you know, the vibe and everything could be, you know, you could be vibing with this person um, and the chemistry is there, but someone here needs to release someone, okay? Release an ex. We got release your ex here. The time has come to clear your space. So some of you guys may be trying to release an ex um, because you have chemistry with possibly with someone new. This person could have been too codependent, um, too, just too codependent, okay? So we got let your friends help you ask. What's this say? Ask for and accept support from others. Give me a little bit more. Tell me more. We got flirt. Yeah. The chemistry between you and this person, I feel like this is someone new. Um, there's a lot of flirting going on. The chemistry is there. But I feel like you guys decided to release an ex and decided to put yourself first. Okay. So you've been putting yourself first. Okay. I feel like someone new. Once you release this person, you allow someone new to come in and the chemistry is there with this person. Yeah, we got attraction. You could have met this person through a friend, okay? And the attraction is there. Yeah, you're catching feelings for someone. We got romantic feelings and maybe you want to take things to the next level with this new person, okay? The person that you were dealing with, you just felt like maybe you were giving too much um, to the situation. It was unrequited. Um, there was not enough chemistry or, or, you know, it just wasn't balanced enough to keep this relationship going. So maybe you decided to let go of someone, okay? So let's see. Let's see what messages we get with the tarot. message for Taurus, please, for the month of August. What's going on with Taurus? Okay, it looks like you got your guard up. <laughs> You're guarded, okay? You're definitely guarded. Taurus, what message do you have for Taurus? All right, yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we got the Two of Cups. So there is connection here that you have with someone, but it is put on hold, okay? So you put a connection on hold. I feel like you decided to... Um, I feel like you're deciding to move on from this connection. Like, it's on hold right now, but you know that you have a decision to make. And I do see a decision between two people, okay, with an ex and someone new. Your guard is definitely up. Your guard is definitely up. Like, you're on, you're on, like, it's like this person is on their last strike, okay? It's like you got one more time to do something out of the way, and you're done with because I already got a replacement, okay? <laughs> yeah, see, I feel like you found somebody, okay? With the Hermit card here, it could be a Virgo. We got the Knight of Pentacles. This uh, this this um, new person here is possibly giving you a solid offer. It may This person may be, you know, moving a little slow, but I feel like you close the chapter with someone here. You close the chapter. Maybe they were moving too slow. 
And that's why you closed the chapter with this uh, past person. I feel like your intuition was telling you that, you know, this person has secrets. And some of you are, you know, you found someone new. And you're deciding to keep it moving. Yeah, you found someone new. Ace of Pentacles, you got a new opportunity. Someone here could have just been really, really, like I said, really, really codependent. Could have been a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or a Capricorn. But the situation was toxic. Someone here could have addictions. Okay. So let's see what's going on. We got the two of cups again. Yeah. And the hangman. Mm-hmm. And the lovers. Eight of swords and the hierophant. Four of cups. The magician. Nine of swords and the nine of pentacles. Yeah. You're losing interest here. Could be with an Aquarius, but you're giving up on a situation. You're slowly giving up on a situation. There's someone else that you're moving towards or someone is coming towards you. I feel like you've been patient with this person. Could be a fire sign, but this person is too in and out and it's just too uncertain. Okay. This person may be um, calling you. Maybe you're rejecting calls or vice versa. Okay. But I'm getting someone declining someone's calls. Um, and this is giving, it's too many red flags. You don't feel the same about this person. You don't feel the same. Why the nine of wands here? King of cups, yeah. King of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You, your intuition is telling you that this person has secrets, okay? Period. Could be a Gemini involved, a Pisces, a Taurus like you. Why is the hangman here? Let's see. The Six of Pentacles. You've been, you're given this situation. I feel like you have already given this situation some time. But I feel like you just feel like this person is definitely hiding something. Okay, there's something mysterious about this person. There's something that you just feel like, you know, it's, you're in the dark about. And I'm getting a lot of people may be telling you a lot about this person. That this person may have a lot of females or a lot of males, a lot of different offers. You feel like you're forcing it and some of you have already left. Okay, some of you have already left. Yeah, you got a new connection. The Fool and the Two of Cups. You already have a replacement. And it was quick too. <laughs> The lovers here and the five of swords. Yeah. Somebody loves to argue. Somebody love, likes to pick arguments and fights. And I feel like you're getting you're over, you're getting over the situation. King of Wands could be a fire sign. Yep, five of wands. This person, there's a lot of arguments with this person. I feel like you didn't you don't want to have regrets, but I feel like your intuition is telling you to cut this person off. Like, you just feel it. Like, it's time to cut this situation off, okay? You felt stuck in this situation for some reason. Like, um, like I said, there was some codependency here. Maybe for financial reasons or maybe because there are children, there's children involved or something to that nature. But you felt stuck. Why is the Eight of Swords here? The Three of Swords. Maybe some of you felt stuck in a third-party situation. And you feel like the situation isn't getting anywhere. So some of you, like I said, have already left. Fire sign. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, King of Swords. Okay. Lots of communication coming in. I'm, I'm getting with a fire sign. Um, you know that you have to make a decision. Okay, and I feel like there's a, a decision that you need to make, a crossroad that you are possibly in, moving ahead on whether or not, you know, to communicate with this person and tell this person how you really feel. Yeah, you're not sure if you should wait to tell this person or wait to reach out to this person, but you feel like, you know, there's been a change of plans. Okay, so there's a change of plan coming ahead. Yeah, because like I said, you found someone new. You have a new connection. Mm -hmm. 
I feel like you have been holding on to this person from the past. But I feel like you're getting ready to close this chapter. I feel like this chapter is coming to a close. Okay. This person that you're dealing with. Could be a fire sign. They're spying on you. They're spying on you. Yep. They're looking at your finances. They're looking at what you spend. They're looking at what you spend, for sure. And I'm getting that there could be children involved. I feel like you fear... I feel like you could kind of fear... Um, It's something that you want to say to this person and you're trying to get the confidence to say it that the situation is possibly like an extreme burden for you um or there's been a lot of deception with the seven of swords here there's been a lot of deception there could be a marriage involved um someone could be married or has been living together for a, a long time there's this emperor i'm getting a baby mother baby father situation or a husband and wife something like that or a live-in situation, someone that you've been with possibly for a while. The outcome is the nine of pentacles. I feel like you got to be, you're, you're going to be honest with yourself. And I feel like some of you are going to be put in this situation to rest or giving this situation a break and walking away. Okay, I feel like you're closing this chapter with this person. I feel like you have a replacement already. You already have someone new in mind. And I just feel like this situation, there we go, the world. Feel like you're closing this chapter out. Now, I also feel like you feel like, you know, if I want to go back to this situation, I can. I'm getting real cocky energy, but I feel like this foundation has been really, really shooken. It's time to move on. And I'm getting that. I'm getting that. You're looking to win financially. You're looking at your finances. And you're just trying to win, like... Maybe you're trying to save. Um, you can't do that with in this situation because I feel like somebody is very codependent upon you and making you feel obligated to help them in some way, shape, or form. This could be causing you, you know, to have some type of feel burdened by this situation. Now, I do feel like you're kind of giving up on this situation. Like, you're wanting to put this situation to rest. Or you're feeling like, you know what, I just need a break. Okay. I need a break. Let's see what this person wants to say to you. What does this person want to say to Taurus? I lost myself for a little while. I bury myself in work to forget you. So this person is trying to stay busy because they feel like they lost themselves. They feel like they've lost themselves. They lost themselves in a the relationship. Um, maybe they're trying to um, get back to doing them or, you know, to make something that makes them feel good about themselves. But this person is focused on, you know, burying themselves into other things to forget about this connection. I left when I saw you with someone, okay? So like I said, this person wants to tell you how they feel. They feel like you have someone else. They can feel it. They can feel it. They're replaying a conversation over and over. Some type of conversation that you two may have had in the recent past, it keeps, you know, ringing over and over in their heads. There is a magnetic attraction that they have to you, um, and they can't stop thinking about you. This person loves you unconditionally. Like, this person really loves you. You could have known this person from childhood. You've been together for a long time. And they want that old thing back. They want the old thing back, okay, how it used to be. But they're waiting for a sign from you, okay? And if this person is doing little petty stuff and starting arguments and stuff, they know exactly what they're doing. They're doing this to get your attention. Yeah, this person really wants you. <laughs> they want you. But I feel like someone here... 
This could be both of you guys' energy. Someone here knows that you guys may need to let each other go, okay? Somebody said some hurtful things, possibly something that they really didn't mean, okay? And it's taking somebody out of character. Like, I, I wish I could take back my words, okay? So this person is, is like trying to stay busy to keep themselves from reaching out to you or contacting you or speaking how they really truly feel. Okay, so let's get some advice from the angels here. What advice do you have for Taurus? Unlikely. No need to worry. And no. Spirit is telling you to listen to your intuition. Okay, that, yeah, that something isn't the right time. So something, this situation is involving timing. Um, there's something that you need to listen to your intuition about. Okay. Look at this. Let go. Spirit is saying that something is unlikely. Okay, this romance. This situation is unlikely to go in your favor. And I've been getting that a lot. Yeah, look at this compromise. It came out in the reverse. So it's like the issues that you guys could be going through right now isn't a good time to try and compromise. Okay, yeah, and ask for forgiveness. But I'm just getting like something is unlikely. Maybe if you try to compromise with this person, it's unlikely to go in your favor. So maybe some of you are just deciding, you know what, let this go. Let it go. The situation will improve. But then we got no right here. So I'm going to clarify the situation will improve and no. Tell me why no is here. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, see, someone keeps... Um, maybe you've been holding back what you want to say or how you feel. Maybe you feel like you're forcing this connection with this person. Maybe you feel like you're forcing it. Maybe you feel like it's a forced connection. Um, and, and I feel like, tell me more about this King of Cups. Five of Pentacles. You feel like it's not going anywhere. You feel like you're losing. Okay? You feel like you're losing. I feel like, like I said, we got the two of pentacles here. There's some juggling going on. But I feel like maybe some of you are afraid to take a risk with this other option because you're still holding on to this past person. Yeah, you don't feel like you should give to this connection. You feel like it's it's the connection is going nowhere. Okay. The situation will improve justice. It looks like you're going to be getting justice in this situation. Could be dealing with the Libra. There's that Empress. I got the Emperor and the Empress. For some of you, this is a baby mother, baby father, or a husband and wife situation. Um, power couple. Um, maybe you guys have built something together and it just isn't manifesting the way that you would like to see it manifest. There's that Six of Swords. And you being tired. You being tired. Okay, and I feel like you're getting ready to move forward. This is going to surprise the hell out of this person from the past. Okay, you got you guys energy king of pentacles. I feel like you want to plant seeds elsewhere. I feel like you want to plant seeds elsewhere because the it's like you're not getting a harvest from this situation. All right, so that's the message that I have for the Taurus. All right, so if you're interested in booking a personal, guys, all of that information is in the drop box below. As well, if you'd like to donate to receive a, receive um, a reading, okay? I am doing donation-based readings as well. So if you would like to donate to the channel to receive um, a reading, all of that information is in the drop box below. As well, you can check out my website, guys, www.EmpressEmpireOils.com and support your girl, all right? Until next time, guys. So ciao for now.